Ты меня ебаная, давай по новой. here before the moon gets frisky. Boom! Jax! We found the Zubo hole. Oh. Quiet. I can't hear the escalator. Escalator. When you said you were magical in bed, this isn't exactly what I was expecting. Is this your card? Holy shit. I'm sure there'll be one for... Oh, look. You already got one. 
Circus OC with me. I decided to give Jax a twin sister named Jinx. What do you think? Violence. Real gangsters move in silence. But can I get my silence? Man, this is some bull silence. Oh, you just gonna keep on saying silence. silence. This is Blocky. He was a broke college student before he put on the headset. He was in his final year of an architectural major, so clearly he was already not doing great before the circus. At first, he thought the circus was a great way to escape the crushing pressure of his real life. However, when he wanted to leave and found he could not, he started to quickly spiral into desperation as he was so close to completing his hellish major, and now he's trapped in a digital world, putting all those years of stress to waste. I figured it out. I understand the headsets in Digital Circus. Both Rockplay and Jax touch on trying to take off the headset when they first arrive, and of course being unsuccessful. But I and a lot of you start to wonder what happened to their physical bodies if their mental is stuck in the program. They're here. You see these desks? They're perfect. And this little nugget? I didn't miss this. It seems that Pomni and the rest of them were employees of this company, CNA. And their job was to test out the headset before it was sold to audiences. In one of the promos for Digital Circus, we essentially see an ad. A children's commercial promoting all of these beloved characters. Is this a Bendy and the Ink Machine situation where they tried to bring these characters to life? By trapping the souls of their employees inside of the program? And Kane and AI belongs to this company, CNA, Kane and Abel, which a lot of people have pointed out. The religious symbolism has not gone unnoticed. It's safe to assume that it's the company who's doing this, and who has deployed this AI to keep everyone trapped, while someone takes care of their bodies outside of the program. What do you think? I take content quests on these two topics, and I'd love to hear from you. Much love. Is Pomni breedable? Let's say hypothetically you're a human stuck in a digital space with no hopes of returning to the real world. It'd be important to know whether or not Clownessy is possible. On the social platform X, the creative digital circus explains that the characters canonically don't have genitals, meaning procreation would be impossible as two genitals are needed for breeding. But since Pomni is a 3D character, perhaps a person in the real world can update her model with genitals in Unreal Engine. Although this can be achieved, it's important to know that the person in charge of what happens in the world, Kane, would not allow it, 
as he states Digital Circus is a place to be enjoyed by all ages. This would include clapping cheeks as most of Western culture believes it to be an inappropriate topic for younger audiences. Never the case that someone raises up someone's get, Kane would immediately stop it. So no, Pomni isn't readable. But the true question is, can Kane give decent sloppy toppy?